guys, welcome to the first episode of The Walking Vlog. I've been promising this for a few days, sorry it's been a while getting this going, but uh, we're going to get started if you don't know what this is all about. I'm basically going to walk about one day a week, just around the neighborhood, get some exercise, and you guys uh, wanted me to answer questions for you, so uh, yeah, that's basically how it's going to work. Um, and you guys sent in questions for the first episode, so um, thank you. Um, so here we go, here's your questions. Alright, so our first question comes from my good pal Kenny Van Eypern. This question is, what are your plans regarding this year's tracking Santa season? Um, well we don't know yet, um, we should be switching some powers around and stuff later in 2013, actually probably really soon. Um, not sure who's going to be in the CEO position, but I will be stepping down soon, so uh, for all my Team Yatsu peoples, I'll be planning for that. But um, I'll still be around, I'll still want to host for uh, the 2013 show. It'll be our fifth year doing our Tracking Santa show, so that'll be fun, but that's in December, so um, let's take a break from that and just enjoy what's going on right now. Our next question comes from Gail Bolster Batson, and she asked, Are you still doing the Airsoft games? And um, no, we haven't been doing many Airsoft games. We did just attend one for uh, video purposes, but that was about it. Um, and have you ever thought about being an instructor? Um, at one time I used to, like uh, maybe a year or two ago. I thought that would be kind of cool. If I ever was an airsoft instructor and played enough, that would probably be a cool thing to do. Um, but no, not since uh, we stopped playing about a year or so ago. Um, maybe we'll get back into it. I don't know. We'll see how uh, things go out in 2013. And our next question comes from Trevor Taylor, who asked, my question is, why? Well, Trevor, uh, you're a good friend of mine, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to uh, make another series here on my channel. Uh, get a little bit of publicity, that'd be kind of nice. Um, and I'm just doing this for fun, and it's kind of uh, cool to do a Q&A, and I thought, well, I can get some exercise out of this, too, while I'm answering you guys' questions. So, there's your answer. And our next question comes from Charles Godwin. Sorry about the brightness, guys. Um, and he asks, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Well, the function of a rubber duck is probably just to provide amusement and enjoyment to all those who use the rubber duck, but the full exact answer will probably never be known. So uh, maybe you'll figure it out, maybe uh, someone else will figure it out. So uh, stay tuned on that one. Our next question comes from Ian Meekum, who asks, um, let's see here, how many gumballs are in a gumball machine? I actually did the research on this one, and the answer turned out to be 5,000 gumballs average in a gumball machine. I think it went from anywhere from about 450 gumballs all the way up to about 10,000 gumballs you could have uh, in a gumball machine. So it just really depends on the size of the gumball machine, but uh, average is 5,000. Our next question comes from a person named James Haney, who was in Team Yancey with us, and he asked, if you had to pick between going to a Rebecca Black concert or Justin Bieber, which would you pick? And the answer for me would probably be Rebecca Black. First of all, probably because it would be a cheaper ticket. I don't know what the exact price is. Um, maybe I'll check that out. Um, but uh, Justin Bieber's a pretty good singer, but uh, I don't like what he's been doing lately, so uh, I gotta go with Rebecca Black on this one. She's a one-hit wonder, and that's really awesome. And our last question, last but not least, comes from Laura Booker, who asks, what happens when you undo your belly button? And I just have to say probably that your butt would probably fall off. No, I'm kidding. The only way to probably uh, undo your belly button would be to get some sort of surgery, I'm guessing. Um, besides that, you can't undo your belly button. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today's episode of The Walking Vlog. Uh, it should come out every Friday if you guys like this enough, so please like below if you really enjoyed it. Also, put uh, any comments, what you thought about this. Uh, if you want to put questions down for episode two for next Friday, that would be really awesome. Uh, I enjoyed doing this. It was a great workout for me, and I enjoyed answering all of your questions. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. All right, guys, this is Gannon136 signing out. Let's <laughs> go.